Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I actually created this flyer. I'm going to show you from scratch how I made this flyer, how I achieved this background you're seeing here, how I created this test effect, and this light you're seeing here. First of all, what you should do is create a new document. Alright, the software I'm actually using now is Adobe Photoshop. So, Ctrl plus N to bring out your new document, which you already know. I'm using 6 inches by 6 inches. I'm not going to be bothering myself again or bothering you again about trimming the picture. I'll be borrowing the picture from this work actually. So, I will lift it into this new slide okay so here we have grace color i'm going to be showing you how i created this test effect so first of all i will turn off this picture let's bring in our text Alright, the font I actually used in that design is called Senzel, 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 Senzel Decorative. So you can look for it and download it. Okay, change to capital case. Change your test color to brown or gold, something close to gold. Well, for we to get the exact, for we to get this exact effect. Let's copy this color code and paste it here. Okay. I think, okay, it's almost close to it. Click on the text from the layer panel. I'm taking my time to take you through this so that you get it right because you actually paid for it. Click on blend the option. Click on bevel and embossed now come to depth change the depth to a thousand of which is already in a thousand then the size is 117 which we already have there come to your contour click on your contour check it then come here open your contour take rounded steps contour that's what you should take all right which is this last one okay click outside now your contour percentage your contour, uh, contour percentage should be i think 10 yeah let's make it 10. come to your santing your santing color should be black and the mode the blend mode of your santing should be multiply your angle should be 90 your distance should be 50 your size should be 120 okay then come to your color overlay it should be blue and your opacity should be 16 or you can make it 15 let's say 15 all right then your blend mode should be hard light if you open it you see this check out um this slide and arrow we're going to be seeing many options of blend mode we are using hard light gradient fill sorry gradient overlay the blend mode is hard light the opacity is 43 then this is the gradient fill, uh, the gradient overlay we are using this particular color here 
then your style should be reflected your angle should be 82 then your scale should be 123 then check on reverse check on align with layout yeah your opacity should be 43 percent come also to pattern overlay and click on extra heavy canvas extra heavy canvas which is this effect you can change you can take any effect but this is the one i actually use for that test effect so click on it then come to your shadow your shadow opacity should be 15 the distance should be 10 the speed the spread not speed should be 8 your size should be 27 percent pixel all right and your angle should be angle 93 should be 93 that's the only thing you are going to be adjusting here so just hit OK. We have that test effect already. So let's bring in this background. This is actually the background we have in that design. But it doesn't look like what we have in that design, right? All right. That's one thing you must do as a graphic designer. Don't use backgrounds the same way you actually copy them from the internet. Bring this background below the text. Don't actually, don't use backgrounds the same way you got them from the internet, you get? So this is the same background here, but they don't look alike. Now, what I did was I added a blur effect and that blur effect is motion blur. Click on your filter go to blur take motion blur click on motion blur then a light wow now the distance of your motion blur should be 779 pixel and your angle should be 39 degree then the percentage here is strain okay that's the zoom zoom in and zoom out which is 100 percent now click okay so you can see we already have our background the same way it is on this particular flyer so i'm going to be bringing back our picture all right so bring this down bring this down then this is just um the text you align the text to the to the left then you can see we have a light shining here Let's bring that glow effect into the light. This is actually the effect we have, but you can see it's having a black background. So click on commit or hit your enter. Come to your blend options here and take screen to remove the black background. All right, you can see the light is not shining. Control T select to reduce, bring it here. Then Control J to duplicate. If at all you want to put it somewhere else, all right. This is to make this effect and to actually get this flyer done. It's as simple as that. You can do simple things in an amazing way, and they look so powerful. They look so powerful. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next class. Bye bye.